Hey guys, it's Webs. welcome back to my channel. So in this week's video, I'm going to do another artwork in my Strathmore Tom paper pad. I had another idea for this week's, but um, I had a bit of an issue with my Photoshop software. But the video that I planned originally was draw this again meme. I've asked on Twitter if I should redraw an artwork that I did t like 12 years ago. And everyone was, was like, yes, just do it. So I actually sketched everything and I was uh, going to tweak everything on Photoshop and for some reason my software is lagging so much I can't make it work so I try to like reinstall everything and it just took, takes forever so I'll do that tomorrow which means I had to find another idea for the, this week's video because yeah that was my first input I was supposed to work on that so uh, anyways basically I pretty last minute decided to finish one of the sketch that I've done in um, this Strathmore uh, tone paper and uh, this is a part of a series that I'm doing with uh, different characters with different features and like different skin tones and just I think a bit of fun with everything and uh, so this ca character is called Ilian and I just named her that way when I looked at her in the end when I finished the drawing I was like I don't know Ilian <laughs> there's nothing really fancy about this one um, she's not for a specific part of the world. I just wanted to have a bit more fun with uh, a hippie chic kind of boho vibe and I really like uh, doing just different hair colors and so I don't think I... Actually, I think I've done blue hair before, but uh, it's been a while, so I had a bit of fun. And um, I have worked with my Copic markers at first, and then I topped everything with my Luminance and Prismacolor pencil. I haven't used much, not as much as I used to, compared to uh, some of my previous artwork in this series, like Janelle and uh, the artwork also Ravija. There was a lot more shading involved, but for this one, for some reason, I just... Um, managed to, I guess, simplify my style a tiny bit more. It's still detailed, but it's a little bit more vibrant and with sharper contrast. So it was really interesting to, to work on that. But I, I don't have a lot to say about the artwork. I just wanted to still do a voiceover and update you with stuff in my life. Because, um, so if you don't know, I have a vlog channel. I will link it in the description right below the video. It's like called Emily's Lifestyle. It's basically where I document my day-to-day -day life with just a, just being a self employed artist, what it what it's like behind the scene. Also, I am doing my weight loss journey document type of video where I basically just tell where I'm at, the kind of workouts I do, what I eat in a day, blah blah blah, all those things. So I am right now doing a series. I'm doing weekly vlogs where I um, basically just share my progress in regards to all aspects of my life. So if you'd like to know a bit more about me and what I'm up to when I don't actually draw, then head over to my uh, vlog channel. The link will be in the corner and in the description right below the video. Um, this is just purely for uh, entertainment and just to share my progress and to have something to look back on uh, in a few months or maybe like in a few years. And uh, so yeah, I hope that you will join in. Then also, speaking of art projects, so I have two going on. The first one is making more coloring books. I have two in the making because I couldn't really decide uh, which one to do first. And I have two different angles and different themes. And so the first one is called Spring Enchantment. And uh, the type of artworks that are going to be in that book are closer to the ones I'm doing in this video. Uh, you know, as the title says, Spring Enchantment is just a bunch of uh, pretty girls, flowers, it's all about nature and flowy, you know, windy artwork. I don't know how I can explain that. But uh, it has a little bit more of a ethereal, um, intricate design artwork also, but it's definitely around nature. And the other book I'm doing is more of a dark fantasy theme, and it's all my artworks that are a little bit darker, I mean dark, not as dark, like I, there's nothing really dark <laughs> in them, but it's a little bit more, I don't know, just a darker twist to it. I have my beautiful nightmare artwork, I have Atlantis with like an alien, otherworldly, dark, dark character. I have my piece Broken Flower, it's a little bit more like of a destructure face. And I have uh, a few pieces that just are a little bit more on a, 
I guess, experimental, darker theme going on instead of just pretty little girls. I don't know. It's just two different th things. So that is the plan in terms of releases. I'm still doing also my Sidequems boxes on Patreon. The one that I did for this month is being shipped. So if you are on Patreon, then it should arrive soon. And for next month's Patreon box, I will have a video release with the artwork that you can win. Probably around the 26th or something of May. So it's like in two weeks. And then on top of that, I also am working on making new paintings and artworks for an exhibition in a gallery, not a gallery, but it's in a restaurant in my town. It's going to be for around July or maybe September. I'm not sure yet the release for that. It depends on the amount of content I have prepared. But uh, yeah, that is basically what I've been up to and what I'm working on when I'm not making a YouTube video. So yeah, that is basically what I had to say uh, about what I've been up to in my art life. Uh, I don't have a lot more actually. <laughs> I'm a little bit in a hurry right now because I am leaving town next week to go to a family event. So I hope that we'll have time to prepare another video for the week I'm not here because uh, it would be kind of sad if you don't have anything on Saturday. I'll try to record something on Monday, but uh, it might just be something kind of simple. Yeah, what else can I talk about? <laughs> I'm like, what? I can't name anything right now. Just going to quickly just talk a bit more about the piece. This is a part of a series that I want to finish in a couple of months. Um, I'm hoping to have more variety in my characters, and I had a bit more fun with the color schemes and try to do I mean, it's, going, it's still going to be around portraits, but I still want to have a bit more thought to it. Maybe just do a bit more experimental pieces. Maybe just... Um, I'm still going to stick to the same technique. It's going to be my copy markers and pencil on top. But I want to have a bit more fun with the color combination. Just try something different. I'm still pushing myself a bit more because I'm not using the, the same uh, colors that I have usually used. But it's still pretty much what I do on a regular basis. So I'm hoping to push myself a bit more. Oh, speaking of pushing myself, I really wanted to be a part of Mermaid this month. But um, I'm, I'm actually really, really bad at drawing mermaids. I've sketched one and it's a complete fail and I just, I'm, I hate it so much. I don't know how to articulate the tail with the body. Um, it's really confusing for me. So I tried to sketch something, but it's really, really bad. And I actually didn't even record the process. So, I mean, hopefully I'll still get a video done in regards to that topic. Because, I mean, I do enjoy working on mermaids. It's just that it takes a lot of, of time for me to create the piece and uh, I don't want to rush it just for the, the sole purpose of putting a video that is about mermaid so we'll see about that maybe I'll just do something but um yeah I think that's pretty much it so hope you'll enjoy the video and if you do then don't forget to give a thumbs up it helps a lot my channel if you share the video as well and if you have any suggestions for future video ideas, as always, don't forget to comment below and tell me what you'd like to see from me. And also, this piece is available on my Etsy store. I have the print and the original also is available. If you'd like to get your hands on that piece, then you can head over to my Etsy store. The link will be in the description below the video and in the corner as always. That's basically it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next week. Bye bye guys.